Are you wondering how to set up your Google AdSense account in 2020? You wanna earn money from your YouTube videos, you wanna get them paid out as well. I'm gonna run through in this video, especially how to do this on AdSense, because if you're signed with an MCN, a YouTube network, they will take care of the payment. But if you're independent and you're running on Google AdSense, I'm gonna show you guys exactly step-by-step -step how to configure your payment settings so you can receive your first paycheck or your next paycheck into a new way, whether it's Western Union, it is bank transfer, it is by check in the mail. I'm gonna run through all of that in this video. So let's get started, of course, right after the intro. What's poppin' guys? My name is Alex. Welcome back to a brand new video. Now, of course, I've done this video two times in the past, actually, but every single time I did this back in 2019, there is nothing happening. It is still blacked out because my account is not activated yet. So in a few days, it should be activated. So this is part one. Part two will drop next week because I have to give Google a few days, obviously, to actually activate my account, everything like that. So the only thing what we can do now is wait until a next Tuesday. I had issues getting into my AdSense account because I'm signed with a network for about four years now, so I don't have access. I just ringed up my network and I said like, yo, I just need to get into my AdSense account for just 10 minutes so I can show you guys how to do that and how to set up these payment settings. So they were fortunate enough to guide me through that. So right now I can actually go ahead and make this video because I don't want to get repetitive and create that video just like that again, like saying like, all right, uh, now you can sign up for AdSense and that is it. You just have to figure it out yourself, go do it. Right now I have access to my AdSense account and to the payment payment settings, so let's start rolling. All right, so now that you have your AdSense account, what you want to do is you need to log into your account. And then at the very left, you see payments. It brings you to this page where you can see your earnings. Of course, it says paid monthly if the total is at least $100 because that's the standard payment threshold. Below that, we have the transactions, of course, like the amount of money you got and when that's paid. At the bottom, we have settings and on the right is your payment method. And that is basically where you want to go ahead and configure that. So you just want to click on add payment method. Okay, so now you clicked on that. Right here, you will see this page where you can choose your method itself. So you want to have Western Union, you want to have a wire transfer. Wire transfer is just basically like a standard bank transfer. So if you're going to fill that in, YouTube is going to just send it to your bank account straight. And at the bottom, we have add new check details, meaning that right now you can also ask for a check on YouTube and you can just go to the bank with that check and you can just hand it over and you can just cash it out and you have it cash in your hands. There's one thing I want to point out is if you're going to choose for a check, make sure that you are from the US if you're going to do this, because if you're going to be an international one, if you make a decent amount of money, let's say that you made, for example, 600 bucks in that month, you're asking for a check, but that check is lost in the mail. Who is responsible for it? Is it the post? Is it you? Is it YouTube? Is it so if you're in the US, you could choose for a check, whether it's going to be, you know, in Europe or any other country, I wouldn't really pick check just because if it gets lost in the post, that's actually 700 bucks down the drain if you cannot get it back. So I would just if you're international or you just want to have it on your bank account straightly direct deposit, you you can just choose for the add wire transfer details. So if you're going to click on add new check details, you have to just basically fill in like your address, your name and all that. But right now in this video, we're going to go to add new wire transfer details. All right, so that brings us to this page where you need to fill in the name of the bank account. You're just going to fill in your name. I just blocked it because, of course, that's all private details. So at the bottom, you want to fill in your name. Below that, you want to fill in your bank name with whatever bank you are with. Below that, it says SWIFT, and that's basically also for international payments. Okay, so if you're not knowing how to, you know, get that big slash SWIFT code, right here in Belgium, we have a couple banks, and one of them is just three letters, is ING. And if you want to just have that code, you just want to type in Google ING SWIFT. Swift. So then Google will give you the details and the SWIFT code of the ING bank here in Belgium is BBRUBEBB. -B -B. You just want to fill that in that form so they will actually know it's the right bank, obviously. All right, so the one below it, you have to pay attention to that really, really good because of course, if you fill in the wrong number, nine out of 10 is not going to be able to process because that bank account probably doesn't exist or it gets sent to the wrong bank account. So you want to make sure that if you're going to fill in your account number, every single digit is correct. Just triple check it, make sure it's correct because you don't want to fill out any you know wrong numbers right here and then below that you just basically want to retype your bank account number and then at the bottom you can also choose if you want to set it as your primary payment method you can do that because otherwise you have to manually check your bank account for as a payment method whenever you want to go ahead and receive your payment so now that we've set that up you can go ahead and continue so right now it says wire transfer to this account of course I blurred all the details but that is what it says so right here at the top it says please note that AdSense will soon no longer show YouTube metrics the best place to see your estimated earnings and other 
other monetization metrics is in the YouTube analytics revenue report. And the revenue report can be found really easily if you could just go to youtube.com forward slash analytics, you will see a revenue tab at the top and there you can check out your earnings instead of an AdSense constantly to like log again. And you can also just go to the creator app on your phone, on your iPhone or Samsung, or basically any phone that can run this app so you can check out your earnings and see what you can expect in terms of payments the next month. All right, guys, there's nothing more to it. Right now you have set up your AdSense account settings. They have your bank info and each time you will get a payment, they will send it to that number. And of course, it's very important to know every single payment from YouTube is always one month behind. So right now it is September the 2nd, meaning that I just received or will receive probably today or tomorrow, I will receive my earnings from July. So you would think that if you make an entire month of August, like videos, you will get that in September. That's not the case in YouTube world. It's always one month behind. So let's say they want to receive your earnings from July. That's of course coming in September. If you want to receive your earnings from January, they will be paid out in March. All right, guys, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for the continued support. Now you guys know how to set up your payment settings, how to change your payment settings as well. It's not that complicated. Just go to the payment settings and just fill in your bank info or your address if you wanna receive it by check or your Western Union account. It is that simple. Thanks a lot for the continued support, guys. If you find this video helpful, make sure to reward it with a like and also share this video with people who think they will need this video to also see how they can change their payment settings. That's it, and I'll see you guys, obviously, in the next video. Thank you.